Hi! This is Healing School number two. This is a uh, video number 80, 82. Video number 82. And we were discussing uh, uh, Psalms. We'll be discussing Psalms 93, 94, 95, and maybe 96 in this video. But uh, basically, we were discussing the Healing School. Last video, uh, 1-7, B and C. Let me see, how did that work? All right, so now we're going to be doing Psalms uh, 82, 93, 94, 95. We already did uh, 82, 8, now we're going to do 82, B. Okay? And um, we had uh, done uh, the healing school 1 7, B and C. We did two sections there. So we're going to try to do maybe three or four Psalms a day. And then this will be. Uh, I already did a whole healing school lesson for the week, so this will be the last video this week. Okay, so we're having four videos released this week. I have break the last video in half because the truck was coming or something, but on YouTube I, I patched them together. Okay. So here we go, Psalms 93. Lord God, help us, Lord, uh, bring this forth in Jesus' name. Uh, the Lord reigns, it has five verses to it. The Lord reigns, so, uh, oh yeah, I was discussing, you know, uh, on the healing school, that there's no time, specific time, for you to die. There's no time clock. Okay? One time, you know, I married my wife, she was from South Korea. I married her overseas. And what happened is one time she was telling me that she had died of carbon monoxide because that's common over there the way they heat the houses with the bricks underneath the floor and uh, this was before I married her years before I married her and uh, she said uh, there was an angel that appeared to her she didn't say angel she said she almost died of carbon monoxide and uh, an uh, old man all dressed in white appeared to her and said Kumja that was her name you know Kim uh, it's not your time to die yet. But uh, that still doesn't mean that God uh, appoints time as far as dates go. He doesn't appoint uh, the time of death when you just die according to the date and the time. But uh, rather, He leaves it into your hands. And He wants you to be satisfied with your life. That you lived a full life, you were full of days, and that you had white hair, and that when you died you did not have no disease and no sickness, that you just lay down in your bed and take in your last breath and go because you wanted to. Not because the devil forced you out or evicted you, or ran you out of this earth or ran you out of town. No one's going to run you out of town because the Lord God reigns. And this is what we're talking about in this psalm, uh, Psalms 93. The, the King James Version. Okay, change the King James Version. Okay. It said, The Lord reigns. Psalm 93, verse 1. The Lord reigns. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherein he has girded himself, the world also is established that it cannot be moved. Two, thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. Three, the floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. Four, the Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty wa waves of the sea. Okay. Five. 
Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. Amplified thee. The Lord reigns. Psalm 93, 1. The Lord reigns. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is robed. He has ridded himself with strength and power. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. Two, your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. Three, the floods have lifted up, O oh Lord. The floods have lifted, lifted up their voice. The floods lift up the roaring of their waves. Four, the Lord on high is mightier and more glorious than the noise of many waters. Yes, than the mighty breakers and waves of the sea. Five, your testimonies are sure. Holiness, apparent and separation from sin, with simple trust and hearty obedience, is becoming to your house, O oh Lord, forever. Okay, Psalm 94. All right, see, this has 23 verses to it. We'll read this in the uh, King James, no, NLT Bible. The Lord will not forsake his people. Psalms 94, verse 1. O Lord, the God of vengeance, O Lord of vengeance, let your glorious justice shine forth. Uh, for two, Arise, O Lord of the earth, give the proud what they deserve. Three, how long, O Lord, how long will the wicked be allowed to gloat? Four, how long will they speak with arrogance? How long will these evil people boast? Five, they crush your people, O Lord, hurting those you claim as your own. Six, they kill widows and foreigners and murder orphans. Seven, the Lord isn't looking, they say. And besides, the Lord of Israel doesn't care. Think again, you fools, when you, when will you finally catch on? Nine, is he deaf? The one who made your ears. Is he blind? The one who formed your eyes. Verse 10, he punishes the nations. Won't he also punish you? He punishes the nations. Won't he also punish you? He knows everything. Doesn't he also know what you are doing? Verse 11. The Lord knows people's thoughts. He knows they are worthless. 12. Joy are those you discipline. Joyful are those you discipline, Lord. Those you teach with your instruction. 13. You give them relief from troubled times until a pit is dug to capture the wicked. You give them relief from troubled, from troubled times until a pit is dug to capture the wicked. 14. The Lord will not reject his people. He will not abandon his special uh, pr uh, possession. 15. Judgment will again be found on justice. Judgment will again be found on justice, and those with virtuous hearts will pursue it. 15, 16. Those, no, who will protect me from the wicked? Who will stand up for me against evildoers? 17. Unless the Lord has helped me, I w would soon have settled in the silence of the grave. 18. I cried out, I am slipping, but your unfailing love, O Lord, supported me. 19. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me a renewed hope and cheer. 20. Can unjust leaders claim that God is on their side? Leaders whose, de whose decrees permit injustice? 21. They gang up against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. 22. But the Lord is my fortress. My God is the mighty rock where I hide. 23. 
God will turn the sins of evil people back on them. He will destroy them for their sins. The Lord our God will destroy them. Mm -hmm. Okay? The Message Bible. The Lord will not forsake his people. Psalm 91 1. Psalm 94. I'm sorry. Psalm 94 1. God, the Lord will not forsake his people. Verse 1. 94 verse 1. God put an end to evil. Avenging God, show your colors. Judge the earth. Take your stand. Throw the book at the arrogant. Three. God, the wicked get away with murder. How long will you let this go on? They brag and boast and crow about their crimes. Five. They walk all around your people. God, exploit and abuse your precious people. They walk all over your people, God. Exploit and abuse your precious people. Six. They take out anyone who gets in the way. If they can't use them, they kill them. 17. And this is the Message Bible. Okay. 7. 94.7. They think God isn't looking. Jacob's God is out to lunch. Verse 8. Well, think again, you idiots, fools. How long before you get smart? 9. Do you think Ear Maker doesn't hear? Eye Shaper doesn't see? 10. There you go. Look. Psalm 94 verse 9. Uh, the word of God said that God is an air maker. It says that God is an eye shaper. Now, you can claim that. You can claim that for your healing. If you have problems with your eyes or your ears, Okay, it says right here that God is an ear maker and God is an eye, an eye shaper, an eye shaper. Now let's look at this comparison. Okay, 94, 9. Okay. Okay, the Amplified says, He who planted the ear. Then it says, He who formed the eye. Let me see. It says that it does in all of them. He that formed, formed means squeezing into shape, like a mold, a potter, fashion, form, frame, purpose. What does planted mean? Okay. To strike in, fasten. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is very good. Mm -hmm. Now let's go back to the Bible, okay? King James Version. All right, you can use that for your healing. In fact, I'm going to knock, knock that down because I got to tell some friends about that. Eyes and ears. You need to write that down. Psalms 94 9, okay? Okay, 10. He that chastens the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teaches men knowledge, shall he, shall not he know? 11. The Lord knoweth, the Lord knoweth, that's continually, continually to know, the thoughts, the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. 12. Blessed is the man whom you chasten, O Lord, and teaches him out of thy law. Thirteen, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be dug, uh, digged for the wicked. Fourteen, for the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Mm -hmm. Fifteen, but judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Fifteen, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Seventeen, unless the Lord has, unless the Lord had helped my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Eighteen, when I said, my foot slippeth, 
that's continually to slip. Thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. 19. In the multitude of my thoughts, within me thy comforts delight thy soul. You know, I have to write that scripture down. Uh, 9418. I draw a picture of a foot. Uh, 9418. Because uh, I told you my sister was in the hospital for her foot. We're going to pray for her. Father God, in Jesus' name, please pray for the. Uh, please. Uh, thank you for helping Dolores' foot may be made whole and her, she uh, got, is going to gain full use of her foot and uh, recover swiftly uh, in that hospital to come home immediately. In Jesus' name, amen. And everybody in the hospital is going to help her. In Jesus' name, and attend to her. And, G and everyone, all the nurses that get into all the patients that they're supposed to. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. 19. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, with thee which frameth, continues to flame mischiefs by a law? 21. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. 22. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. 23. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Okay, now we're going to 95, Psalm 95. And that has 11 verses to it. And we're going to go with the uh, King James Version on this first. Let us sing songs of praise. So, see, it, it says in uh, Psalm 22, verse 3, that God inhabits the praises of his people. So God inhabits the praises of his people. When you sing songs to him, when you ask the Lord to fill you up, to come to you, when you're singing to him, praising his name, the Lord's Spirit comes to you, and this is how you fill you up with the Holy Spirit. Amen. And by singing to him, he inhabits the praises of his people. You know, in church, Sometimes they only have one or two people singing and no one else sings. But that's wrong because everybody should sing. And the reason you sing is not, not to make noise. But when you sing, you think about what you're do, saying. You picture how this affects your life. You picture the goodness of God when you're singing and, and, and put love into your words. And, uh, you know, uh, love, love into your words and kindness and, and in, inviting him to come into you. And, and lifting your hands up to him, offering yourself to him in prayer, not caring who's looking. All right, or what people think. All right. Psalm 95, verse 1. Oh, come, let's sing unto the Lord. Let's make a joyful noise to the rock of our, our, our salvation. Oh, come, let's sing unto the Lord. Let's make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Two, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Three, for the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. Four, in his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. Five, the sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Six, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Seven, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, Okay, today, if you will hear his voice, eight, harden not your heart, 
as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. 9. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. 10. Four years long was I grieved with this generation. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their heart. Where do they err? In their heart. And they have not known my ways. 11. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Okay? And then we just discussed and saw in our first video, 82A and um, 81A, how God removed sin from the midst of our heart. And I believe that was Psalm 81A. And God did remove sin from the middle of our heart. Okay? And it says here, in verse 10, 40 years was I grieved of this generation and said, it is, a, it is a people that is a people that do err in their in their heart. The heart is the problem. Okay? All right. That's why God gave us a new heart. A new flexible heart. That's their Bible. We'll have to look that up sometime. You can look it up. You got esword.net. Psalm 96. All right. Psalm 96. Got like um, 13 verses to it. Hmm. This will be in the uh, the New King James Version. Worship in the splendor of holiness. Psalm 96 1. Oh, oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Verse 2. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. 3. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all people. 4. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Verse 3. For all gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Verse 6. Honor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Now, verse 5, when it says, For all gods of the peoples are idols. For all the gods of the peoples are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. See? See, when you uh, worship preachers, and uh, you after other preachers' anointings, so that the blessing of Abraham can come on you, you are actually worshiping those preachers and you're praying those preachers in Jesus' place. And those preachers have become your salvation. You change the glory of God, the glorious gospel of God, to a man. Look, you're worshiping Kenneth Copeland, you're worshiping these other preachers, or it could even be your pastor, right? The one you go to your local church that you esteem above God. And listen to everything he says. Okay, you don't need to study your Bible or anything. But whatever the preachers say, you do. Because, you know, well, basically, you know, I don't know why you do that. But you're not worshiping Jesus that way. You're worshiping that man. Now, is that man going to get you out of your mess? When you're in your grave, how do you get out? When you wake up, will you be a but glorious butterfly? with beautiful colors and everything in a glorious heaven? Or will you be a moth with red burning eyes in a fire pit? So you better wake up now and, and, you know, and study all of these teachings. Okay, Psalm 6. This is Psalm 966. Okay? And right now the, the Mark of the Beast is fixing to come out. 
they can start and have cryptocurrency and digital currency and everything and not money or not paper or not coins some kind of mark of the beast is coming out they already do it in Sweden go on YouTube and check out Sweden uh, ID mark of the beast and the Ukraine is very close to that too because they have uh, a system where they have everything, all the governments in the cell phone and whenever they do a document for the government, they do it right through the cell phone and even they're winning the war because they just take a picture of the enemy and upload it to the system and uh, they tell on where all the Russian soldiers are that way. So really, uh, they got everything, money too, and China China uses all the money through the iPhones and everything. So pretty soon that iPhone, you know, the mark won't be in the iPhone or smartphone. It'll be moved in your, into your hand. Psalm 966. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Verse 7. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Eight, give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Okay, 96 verse 9. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. 10, say among the nations the Lord reigns. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. He shall judge the peoples righteously. Is that right? Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in all its fullness. 12. Let the field be joyful and all that is in it. Let all these trees of the woods rejoice before the Lord. And 13. For he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Okay, now let's do this in the Amplified scene. All right, here we go. Worship in the splendor of holiness. Psalm 96, verse 1. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. To sing to the Lord, bless affectionately, praise his name. Show forth, show forth his salvation from day to day. Three, declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among the peoples. Four, for great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be reverently feared and worshipped above all so-called gods. Dramony, chapter 6, verse 5, Revelations 14, verse 7. 5, for the gods, well, let me see what they'll say, okay? Dramony 6, 5, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your mind and heart and with your entire being and with all your might. Revelations 14, verse 7, and he cried with a mighty voice, Revere God and give Him glory, honor and praise in worship. For the hour of His judgment has arrived. Bow down before Him. Okay, pay Him homage and adore and worship Him who created heaven and earth, the sea and the springs, the fountains of water. Amen. Verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are lifeless idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Six, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Seven, ascribe to the Lord, O you families of the pe all you fam o families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Eight. Give to the Lord the glory due his name, and bring an offering and come before him into his courts. 9. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before, reverently fear him all the earth. 10. 
Say among the nations that the Lord reigns. The world also is established so that it cannot be moved. He shall judge and rule the peoples righteously. With He shall uh, judge and rule the people righteously and with justice. Revelation 11, 15. The seventh angel then blew his trumpet, and there was a mighty voice in heaven, shouting, and the dominion, kingdom, sovereignty, and rule of the world has now come into possession and become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ, the Messiah, and his rule, uh, and his, and he shall reign forever and ever for the eternities of of the eternities. Psalm 22, verse 28, Dan chapter 7, verse 13 to 14, Dan chapter 7, verse 27. Dan 7, chapter 7, verse 27. Okay? All right. 11. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, let the sea roar, and all the tithings, and all the things with it. Okay? Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar, and all the things which fill it. Twelve, let the field be, be excluded. That's, you know, the field, something coming out of it. Ex, ex, exudious or something. Exhalant. Let's see what that is. Exhalant. Okay. Let's see what we get with that word. Exalant. Let's see what it said. Well, how do you say that? Exultant. Exultant. Okay, exultant. Triumphantly happy. She felt exultant and powerful. Jubilant, thrilled, triumphant, delighted, exhilarated, happy, overjoyed, glorious, Oh, joy, joyous and joyful. Okay. Let the fields be jubilant. Let the fields be overjoyed. And all that is in it. Then shall all the trees of the, wor of the wood sing for joy. Then shall all the trees of the wood sing for joy. Thirteen. Before the Lord he comes, for he comes to judge and govern the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and judge the peoples with his faithfulness and truth. One, okay, okay, one Chronicles, let me see what that is. I'm going to put my mouse there. One Chronicles chapter 16, verse 23 to 33. It says, Sing to the Lord, all your earth. Show forth from day to day his salvation. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among the peoples. For great is the Lord, and great is to be praised. This is Chronicles 16, chapter 16, verse 23 to 33. For the Lord is great, and greatly to be praised. He, is also, he also is to be reverently feared, all, above all so-called gods. 26. For all gods of the people are lifeless idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are found in his presence. Strength and joy are found in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord your families of the people, of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord, Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and bring, come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness and in holy array. 30. Tremble and reverently fear him. Reverently fear before him. All the earth's peoples, the world also shall be established. So it cannot be moved. 
31, let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, and let man say among all nations, the Lord reigns, and let the sea roar, and all things that fill it, let the fields rejoice, and all that is in them. 33, then, no, uh, 1 Chronicles 16, 33, then shall the trees of the wood sing out for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge and govern the earth. That's the Amplified C Classic, Amplified Bible Classic. Okay. All right, in Revelations chapter 19, verse 11. Okay. After that I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse appeared. The one who was riding it is called Faithful, Trustworthy, Trustworthy, Loyal, Incorruptible, Steady, and True. And he passes judgment and wages war in righteousness, holiness, justice, and uprightness. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 1. That's what the. This is Revelation 19:11, but it also points to Ezekiel, chapter one, verse one. All right. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Ezekiel. Chapter 1, verse 1, 1 through 3. This talks to uh, Ezekiel and Babylon. And I'm going to go to the Message Bible with this one. When I was 30 years of age, I was living with the exiles on the Kibar River. On the fifth day of the fourth month, the sky opened up and I saw visions of God. Verse 2. It was the fifth day of the month in the fifth year of the exile of King Jolikin. Mm -hmm. uh, that God's word came to Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai, on the banks of the Kilbar River in the country of Babylon. God's hand came upon him that day. Okay, now that's just starting. I got we gotta go to the glory of the Lord. This is Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 4, and see where it takes us, okay? This is the message Bible. I looked, I saw an immense dust storm come from the north, an immense cloud with lightning flashing from it, a huge ball of fire glowing like bronze. With, you know, I got to tell you, you know what? This is the craziest thing I found out. That uh, China, you know, the sun, the sun, you know, takes care of our planet. Uh, God made the sun like a nuclear reactor, a nuclear reactor, and it works on hydrogen. That means hydrogen is uh, is um, fuel that doesn't cause tox, tox, it's not toxic or anything. You know, it's just real hot. And uh, it gives us a lot of energy. It grows our plants and everything. And the earth only can be so hot, you know? Because it's already melting. The ice caps and everything is melting. So China has decided to build a, another sun like a satellite. They're going to build a satellite like the sun. And it's going to be like a ball. And it's going to be like... I guess like a big satellite above China and it's going to look like a, a round light bulb because it's going to appear like a sun that just keeps lighting China day and night no matter what and how they got that going is um, they have like a ball and they have energy circling this ball where it circles a ball like a plasma but it doesn't touch the sides of the, the ball itself. And if you can picture a tornado and then 
an, an, another tornado upside down. So you got two tornadoes and one's upside down and they're connecting in the middle. Like, now pick a, picture an apple. So you got two tornadoes like this, like two triangles, like that, like that. And these two tornadoes are spinning around and causing the energy just to go around this ball and emit light all around it, suspended up there like a satellite over China. And you know, uh, the, the light of the sun is not good enough for them. They need to make another sun. And you know what? I don't think that's very smart because you know what's going to happen. You know, I know in the Bible it says that we don't have to worry about anything. The Lord is going to come and uh, the Holy City is going to come down and God is going to be our light. And God is going to be the sun. Okay? Um, who's going to be the sun? Okay, Jesus is going to be the sun. Okay? Jesus. Uh, sun. Okay? Bible. Okay. It's in the Bible. It's in Revelations. It's in we get the scripture. Alright, Jesus the Son is the light of the world. John chapter 8 verse 12. The Son is also the light of the world. Jesus the Son comes into clouds for everyone to see. Revelations 1 uh, verse 7. The Son also rides on the clouds. And every eye sees it. Jesus the Son walks on water. Okay. Let me see. All right, let me see. Uh, Jesus is son. Bible. Oh, I put uh, Jesus is son Bible and see the scripture. See if the scripture comes up. Okay? Because this reminds me of that. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 19. Jesus is also known as a bright and morning star. Uh, and it's a reference to the sun. And uh, how the day star shall rise in our hearts. But now, uh, does Jesus represent the sun? Let me see. Uh, does the scripture... Here we go. Psalm 84, 11. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord is a sun and shield. The Lord grants favor and honor. He does not hold back any blessing from those who live innocently. And we got the blood of Jesus over us. Jesus is likened unto the Son. Okay, it's in Revelations. It's the last. Okay, here. Revelations chapter 21, verse 23. Revelations chapter 21, verse 23. And the city has no need of sun or moon. Now, let me cut on that. Revelation chapter 21, verse 23. Revelation chapter 21, verse 23. The city does not need the sun or the moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gives it light, and the Lamb of God is its lamp. Now, can you imagine that China wants to have the sun over there, hanging around in the orbit above its country? Can you, because the satellites kind of stay in place, you know, they just, they don't move around. If we put a satellite somewhere in orbit, it kind of just hangs around there. But can you imagine if that thing blew up like Chernobyl or something? Or it, it, it's like it's like a nuclear reac reactor that's just hanging out there like a satellite. And it gets up to like uh, millions of degrees hot. Because it's, it, it runs on hydrogen and it has a special... Uh, 
a special process, and they swear it's going to be safe, but you can't trust China at all. Because I know, uh, I believe they're the ones that did the coronavirus. Now, how about this? They got this sun up there, suspended above China, suspended above China, just like they had that air balloon. You know, that air balloon lately that came over uh, Alaska and the Northeast and part of Canada. And it had motors and everything after they shot down in the Atlantic. They had found out it had motors and everything and guidance systems. And they were spying on us with it. Now, here, isn't that a perfect weapon? They want to weaponize everything. They have the sun, a nuclear reactor, a big, huge bomb hanging above China. And they can send that thing anywhere. They can send that thing toward the United States. That could be one of those things where you know, uh, a doomsday thing where they press the button and threaten to push push the button and destroy the whole planet. You know, they basically did destroy the whole planet uh, with that pandemic. And they were supposed to be in charge of the World Health Organization warning us about it. So you can't you can't say anything. Um, you cannot. We can, you can, no one can afford, especially when the Earth is uh, hot and going into its convulsions and everything. And uh, everyone got to go into green. Everyone wants to use solar energy. You can't have no sun up there like that. It's gonna heat up the atmosphere. All right, now let's look at this. The glory of the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 4. I looked and I saw an immense dust storm coming from the north, an immense cloud with lightning flashing from it, a huge ball of glory, of fire, a huge ball of fire glowing, glowing like bronze. Wow. Within the fire were what looked like four creatures Vibrant with life. Each had the form of a human being. But each also had four faces and four wings. Their legs were as sturdy and straight as columns. But their feet were hoofed like those of a calf. And sparkled from the fire like uh, burnished bronze. Mm. 8, verse 8, on all four sides under their wings they had human hands. All four had both faces and wings. 9, with the wings touching one another, they turned neither one way or the other. They just went forward. 10, their faces looked like this. In the front, a human face. On the right side, the face of a lion. On the left, the face of an ox. In the back, the face of an eagle. Eleven. So much for the faces, the wings were spread out like the tips of one pair touching the creature on either side of the other pair of wings covering his body. Twelve. Ezekiel one twelve. Each creature went straight forward. Wherever the spirit went, they went. They didn't turn. They didn't turn as they went. Verse 13. The four creatures looked like a blazing fire. The four creatures looked like a blazing fire. Or like fiery torches. The tongues of fire shot back and forth between the creatures. And out of the fire, bolts of lightning. The creatures flashed back and forth like streaks of lightning. Fifteen. As I watched the four creatures, I as I watched the four creatures, I saw something that looked like a wheel on the ground beside each of these four cre face creatures. 
as I watched the four creatures, I saw something that looked like a wheel on the ground besides each of these four faced creatures. 16. This is what the wheels looked like. They were identical wheels sparkling like diamonds in the sun. It looked like they were wheels within wheels like a gyroscope. 17. They went in any one of the four directions they faced, but straight, not veering off. 18. The rims were immense, circled with eyes. Uh, 19. When the living creatures went and the wheels went, when the living creatures went, lifted off, the wheels lifted off. When the living creatures went, the wheels went. When the living creatures lifted off, the wheels lifted off. Wherever the spirit went, they went. The wheels sticking right with them. For the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. Well, for the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. When the creatures went, the wheels went. When the creatures stopped, the wheels stopped. When the creatures lifted off, the wheels lifted off. Because the spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. Mm -hmm. Over the heads of the living creatures was something like a dome, shimmering like a sky full of cut grass, cut glass, shimmering like a sky full of cut grass, vaulted over their heads. Over the heads of the living creatures was something like a dome, shivering, shiv shimmering like a sky full of cut glass, vaulted over their heads. 23. Under the dome, one set of wings was extended over the other, with another set of wings covering the bodies. 24. When they moved, I heard their wings. It was like the roar of a great waterfall, like the voice of the strong God, like the noise of a battlefield. When they stopped, they folded their wings. 25. 125. Ezekiel 125. And then they stood with folded wings. There was a voice from above the dome over their heads. 26. Above the dome there was something that looked like a throne. Sky blue like a sapphire. With a human-like figure towering above the throne. 27. 27. From what I could see, from the waist up, he looked like a burnished bronze, and from the waist down, like a blazing fire. Waist up, burnished bronze, waist down, a blazing fire. Brightest everywhere. 28. The way a rainbow springs out of the sky on a rainy day, that's what it was like. It turned out to be the glory of God. When I saw all this, I fell to my knees, my face to the ground. Then I heard a voice. It's a, I read this again, 28. The way a rainbow springs out of the sky on a rainy day. That's what it was like. It turned out to be the glory of God. When I saw all of this, I fell to my knees, my face to the ground. Then I heard a voice. Okay, now this is going to go to 2. 2 verse 1, Ezekiel. Ezekiel's call. It said, Son of man, stand up. I have something to say to you. Verse 2, The moment I heard the voice, the Spirit entered me and put me on my feet. And he spoke to me. I listened. He said, 3, Son of man, I'm sending you to the family of Israel, a rebellious nation, if there ever was one. And they that and their ancestors have fomented rebellion right up to the present. 
for there are hard case these people to whom I'm sending you hardened in their sin tell them this is the messenger of God the master five there are they are a defiant bunch whether or not they listen at least they know that a prophet a prophet has been here they're a defiant bunch whether they listen or whether or not they listen, at least they know a prophet's been here. A prophet's been here. Six, but don't be afraid of them, son of man, and don't be afraid of anything they say. Don't be afraid when living among them is like stepping on thorns or finding scorpions in your bed. Don't be afraid of their mean words or their hard looks. They're a bunch of rebels. Seven, your job is to speak to them. Whether they listen is not your concern. They're hardened rebels. Seven, Ezekiel 2, 7, your job is to speak to them. Whether they listen is not your concern. They're hardened rebels. Verse 8, only take care, son of man, that you don't rebel like these rebels. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. Okay, verse 9, when I looked, he had his hand stretched out to me, and his hand was a scroll. When I looked, he had his hand, his hand stretched out to me, and in the hand, a book, a scroll. Verse 10, he unrolled the scroll on both sides, front and back, uh, were written lamentations and mourning and doom. Okay? <laughs> Ezekiel 2, verse 10. He unrolled the scroll on both sides, front and back, were written lamentations and mourning and doom. Wow. We need to go to verse, uh, the third chapter now. Real quick and see what's up. Okay. Okay. Ezekiel 3, verse 1. He told me, Son of man, eat what you see. Eat this book. Then go and speak to the family of Israel. Verse 2, As I opened my mouth, he gave me the scroll to eat. Verse 3, Saying, Son of man, eat this book that I am giving you. Make a full meal of it. So I ate it. It tasted so good, just like honey. Verse 4, Then he said, Son of man, go to the family of Israel and begin and speak my message. Go to the family of Israel and speak my message. Then five, look, I'm not saying you to a people who speak a hard to learn language with words you can't hardly pronounce. Six, if I had, three, six, if I had sent you to such people, their ears would have perked up and they would have listened immediately. Verse 7, but it wouldn't work that way with the family of Israel. They won't listen to you because they won't listen to me. They are, as I said, a hard case, hardened in their sin. Verse 8, but I make you as hard in your way as they are in theirs. But I make you as hard in your way as they are in theirs. Verse 9, I make your face as hard as rock, harder than granite. Don't let them intimidate you. Don't be afraid of them, even though they're a bunch of rebels. 10, then he said, son of man, get all these words I'm giving you inside you. Listen to them obediently and make them your own. Verse 11, and now go. Go to the exiles, your people, and speak. Tell them this is the message of God. The master, speak your peace, whether they listen or not. Twelve, then the spirit picked me up. Behind me, I heard a great commotion. Blessed be the glory of God in his sanctuary. Thirteen, the wings of the living creatures beating against each other. The wings of the living creatures beating against each other the whirling wheels, the rumble of a great earthquake. 14. The Spirit lifted me and took me away. I went bitterly and angrily. I didn't want to go, but the Lord had me 
in his grip. 15. I arrived among the exiles who lived near the Kiber River in Tel Aviv. In Tel Aviv. I come to where they were living and sat there for seven days appalled. Amen. And we'll stop right there. This is the Zikral. Okay. We leave it off at chapter 3. And uh, I have to write this down. Maybe we need to uh, do a little reading there sometime. All right, let me write that down. Okay. So. Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you for your blessing and, and your knowledge, Lord God. Thank you for, for this day, in Jesus' name. Thank you. We went through so many psalms. Uh, I think we got up to 96. In Jesus' name, amen, we pray. Thank you, Lord. And this is the last video this week. We'll be back next week because I went through all my healing school notes, notes in, uh, uh, in, in, in two sessions. Two, and a session is two videos of two hours each. I thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you.